Hi, in this section we'll discuss using the Kotlin extensions for easier access to Android APIs. We'll learn about using the Kotlin core extension modules for easier use of Android APIs, using the SQLite Kotlin extension module to simplify database transactions, using the Fragment Kotlin extension module to simplify Fragment transactions, using the Collection Kotlin extension module for extensive collection support, and using the Work Kotlin extension module for simplifying asynchronous requests. In this video, we'll discuss using the Kotlin extension module for easier use of Android APIs. We'll describe how to install and use the core Kotlin extension module and demonstrate the difference between the standard Android Kotlin Toast and the core Kotlin extension Toast. In this video, we're going to create an Android project. Select Create New Project. I'll specify the project location first. And for the purposes of this tutorial, I'll be selecting 6.1, but you can specify whatever location you want. And I'm also going to set the application name to Kotlin Core. And check that the include Kotlin support is enabled as well. Select Next. And I'm just going to use the API of 26 for the phone and tablet. Select Next. I'm going to use an empty activity. Select Next. And I'm going to use the main activity, but I'm not going to generate a layout file, so I can unselect that. And I'm also going to unselect the backwards compatibility. And select finish and wait for that to build. Let's just start up the Android emulator. Select tools, Android, ABD manager, and select the green play button. And while we're waiting for the emulator to start up, we'll go back to Android Studio. And what we're going to demonstrate in this exercise is how to display a toast. We're going to compare the Kotlin toast against the core extension toast. So let's just create the standard Kotlin toast first. I'll call the toast class. Select make text. For the context, I'm just going to use the activity context. So I can just use the this keyword. And now enter the text we want to display. For this purposes, I'm just going to select Hello World. Now we need to select the duration. And I'll set the duration of length short. And finally, we need to display the toast. Now let's run the code and observe the toast being displayed on the application. Select Run. And Run App. And select OK for the connected device, which is the emulator. And as you can see, the toast was displayed for a short period of time. Now let's demonstrate the Kotlin core extension toast. So first of all, we need to install that. Go to project. Select section 6.1. Select app. And open up the build.gradle file. Now we need to add the core extension module. Go to the bottom of the dependencies. Add a new line and put in this code. We'll now need to do a new project sync. That's completed. Let's go back to the main activity file. I'm just going to comment out the current toast and call the core extension toast by just calling the toast keyword. And there's two I can select from. I'm just going to select the upper one. And in this case, I'm just going to enter the text Hello Kotlin. And let's rerun the application, select Run, and Run App. And as you can see, we've got the Hello Kotlin being displayed for a brief amount of time. And as you can see, when we compare these two calls, the core extension call is much simpler. You just have to provide the text you want to output. You don't need to provide the contents, or the length of time, or the show function. We described how to install and use the Kotlin core extensions using Gradle and demonstrated the benefits of the Kotlin core extension toast when compared with the standard Android Kotlin toast.